Kawaumat. In this video, we will define geometric series. We will also find the sum of the finite geometric sequence and we will solve problem involving geometric series. So first, what is a geometric series? A geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Let's have an example. What is the sum of the first 10 terms of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus to the nth term? So what is the solution? First, we will count the number of terms since we have the first 10 terms. We will multiply it by 2 so we will have 20. 10 times 2 that is 20. Now, if your common ratio is equal to 1, why 1? Because 2 divided by 2, kung babalikan natin yung discussion natin about finding the common ratio, we will just divide the second and the first term. So we will have the common ratio of 1 since 2 divided by 2. Then your S sub n is equal to n times a sub 1. Remember that your n is the number of terms that we are looking for and your a sub 1 is the, your first term. So ulitin ko, if your common ratio is equal to 1, then your s sub n is equal to n times a sub 1 where n is the number of terms that we are looking for and a sub 1 is your first term. So we will just multiply those two. Next, what if your common ratio is equal to negative 1? So we have two cases or conditions. So first, if your common ratio is negative 1 and your n is an even number. So halimbawa, ito kagaya nito in our example, since 10, that is an even number. So therefore, your answer must be 0. Okay? But if your common ratio is equal to negative 1 and your n, yung n na kung saan, yun yung hinahanap natin, is an odd number, then your answer or yung S sub n natin is equal to negative 1. Ano yung a, I, is equal to A sub 1, okay? Where your a, a sub 1 is equal to 2. So, tatandaan, we have two cases if your common ratio is negative 1. First, tingnan natin kung ang hinahanap ba natin na terms ay even or odd. Kapag even siya, ang answer natin ay 0. Kapag odd, Ang answer natin ay yung first term natin. Okay, let's have an example. What is the sum of first 10 terms of 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus? Okay, so anong paano siya kukunin? So, our R here is equal to negative 1. Okay, so paano naging negative 1? Because we have negative 2 divided by 2, that, therefore our common ratio is negative 1. Now, what is our n? So, kung titingnan natin, our n here is 10. So, our n is an even number. So, ano nga ulit ang sabi ko kapag ang r ay negative 1 at ang n ay even number? The answer is 0. Okay? So, kahit hindi mo na siya isolve, for as long as your common ratio is negative 1 and your n is an even number, the answer will always be 0. Next, what is the sum of first 11 terms of 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus to the n term? Okay, so first our r is negative 1 again because negative 2 divided by 2 that is negative 1. Now, our n here is 11 and 11 is an odd number. Okay, so ano nga ulit ang sabi natin kanina? If your common ratio n is negative 1 and your n is an odd number, then the answer is your first term. What is our first term? That is 2. Now, what if your common ratio is not 1 nor negative 1? So, paano kapag ang common ratio mo ay 1 or negative 1? Or by the way, yung uh, r is if your r is equal to 1 or negative 1, yung previous slides natin, yun yung uh, easiest way of solving finite geometric sequence if your common ratio is 1 or negative 1. So, yun yung pinakamadaling paraan. Yung kahit hindi ka na mag-solve, 
Basta yun lang ang titingnan mo kapag negative one or positive one. Okay? Now, ang tanong, paano kapag ang common ratio natin is not one or negative one? So, we will use this formula. Okay? So, we will use a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub 1 is your first term, your r is your common ratio, and your n is the number of terms that we are looking for. Okay? So, all over r, your common ratio, minus 1. So, ulitin ko, your a sub 1 is your first term, your r is your common ratio, raised to n, n is the number of terms that we are looking for, minus 1 all over, r minus 1. Now, remember that your r should not be equal to 1. Why? Bakit? Bakit hindi pwedeng mag-equal sa 1 ang ating denami, uh, r common ratio? Because magiging 0 ang va value natin sa denominator and your answer will become undefined okay let's have an example what is the sum of the first five terms of 3 6 12 24 48 and 96 okay so hinahanap natin dito yung first five terms sum of the first five terms okay so what is the solution so we will be looking for the a sub 1 your n and your r Okay, so our a sub 1 here is 3. Your uh, common ratio is 2. Why? Because we have 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Now, what is our n? Ano ang hinahanap natin? So, our n is equal to 5 kasi ayun. Okay, now, let us substitute the given values to the formula. So, we will have a sub 1, that is 3. Ito siya. And then our r, that is 2. So, raised to n, n is 5. Okay. So, that is raised to 5 minus 1 all over 2 minus 1. So, let us simplify. 2 raised to 5 is 32. Minus 1, that is 31. Times 3, that is 93 divided by 1. So, our s sub 5 or the sum of the first 5 terms is 93. Okay. Let's have a problem. A ball is tossed to a height of 4 meters rebounds to 40% of its previous height. Find the distance the ball traveled when it strikes the ground for the fifth time. Alright. So, let's have an illustration. So, dun sa unang paghagis ng bola at pagbalik nito, Okay? Ang sukat niya, ang itinaas niya, at hanggang pagbalik ay 4 meters. So, 4 meters, ito. Pagtaas, and then, ng pagbaba niya, another 4 meters. So, we have 8 meters. Okay? Now, dun sa pangalawang rebound, okay, ang sabi, bumaba daw siya ng 40% kumpara dun sa previous height niya, dun sa unang taas ng height ng bola. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, itong 4, ita times natin ngayon sa 0 0.4. Bakit? 0 0.4, this is equivalent to 40%. Pag uh, kinonvert natin itong 40% sa decimal, that is 0 0.4. So, we will have now 1.6. So, ibig sabihin, yung pag-rebound niya, okay? 1.6, tas nung bumaba siya, another 1.6, that is 3.2 meters. Okay? Now, from this... Bumaba ulit siya ng 40%. So, 1.6 times 0 0.4, that is 0 0.64. So, ibig sabihin, 0 0.64 plus 0 0.64, that is 1.28 meters. Now, we already have this 3. 3 strikes, okay? Tatlong ano, bounce ng bola. So, we will have 8 plus 3.2 plus 1.28. Now, since ang tinatanong ay distance ng bola dun sa pang fifth time, okay, so yun ang hinahanap natin, eh, we only have 3. So, hindi na natin kailangan isolve pa ulit to, okay? We can make use and apply the formula. So, we can make use of our a sub 1 is 8. Our r is 3.2 divided by 8, that is 0 0.4. 
And our end, since we are looking for the fifth time, yun ang hinahanap natin. So, ibig sabihin, that is 5. Okay, let us substitute. So, we will have our A sub 1 is 8. Our uh, R or common ratio is 0 0.4 based dito sa ating nakuha. Raised to 5 because our N, ang hinahanap natin ay 5. Minus 1 all over 0 0.4 minus 1. So, we will have, so pag sinimplify na natin to lahat, 0 0.4 raised to 5 minus 1 times 8. That is negative 7.91808. And then, 0 0.4 minus 1, that is negative 0 0.6. Now, if we will simplify this too, we will divide. So, we will have uh, uh, the sum, uh, the, the distance of the ball traveled when it strikes to the ground for the fifth time, yung pang limang beses, that is 13.1968. And that is 13.20. Meters. So, the ball has traveled about 13.20 meters by the fifth time since ito yung tinatanong natin when it hits the ground. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.